I didn't even put no. headphones on. The audio is going to sound shit. We didn't check the volume. Oh, wait, yeah, no, neither have I. Hello, everyone. Should we, do that now? Should we save them? Save them from the echo voice. Oh, fuck. I dropped my shit already. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I've everything. Right. Hello. Uh, Welcome to Launchcast, a subsidiary of Stonkscast. Launchcast. We have I messed like it. it up again. Launchcast. Launches, not missiles, but beats. So let's Boom. do this. We have released things again. Woohoo! It's a release day. I'm James. He's Ollie. We're Stonks. He's Score Unknown. I'm Ashimer. We're here to tell you about the new release. Boom. Uh, Is that just a chat? Room. Just like make him shut up. <laughs> Alien Hand Syndrome came out today. July Alien Hand Syndrome. 12th. So why don't we start off with a little brief description of Alien Hand Syndrome, because it's but maybe some people don't know what that is. So uh, Alien Hand Syndrome, the medical definition, is uh, Alien Hand Syndrome is a phenomenon in which one hand is not under control of the mind. The person loses control of the hand, and it acts as if it has its own a mind of its own. The etiology includes neurosurgery, tumour, aneurysms, and rarely stroke. Uh, so essentially, you, one of your uh, one of your hands. Uh, actually, uh, I'll send you Ollie this picture, um, and you can show the good people uh, what alien hand syndrome may uh, may manifest as. You'll quite enjoy this. Just click on that link, and it should be the black and white photo. Oh my lord! Da, da, da. Yeah. So just, yeah. <laughs> so that's alien hand. Syndrome. That's his own hand, mate. That's coming at a bizarre angle for it to be his own hand. It really does not look like his. And it hand. looks like I just don't think that geezer's repping that hairy and arm. I like this one. <laughs> What's going? Yeah, look. Hello, that's what happens if you get alien hand syndrome because you've done too much. <laughs> Long finger syndrome. <laughs> uh, right. Oh, look at this guy. Look how happy he is. Wait, go scroll down. This one. Scroll down. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> That's how happy. Kill me again. That's... Why are there loads of images? <laughs> that is how happy Wait, you can be. Can we get in contact for this guy? Can we use this stuff for album artwork? This might be the next four EPs. <laughs> we're allowed to call them that, District Kid. Uh, if, yeah, if we have enough uh, oh, right. things. Anyway, uh, that was a re uh, reference to uh, District Kid not allowing us to call our two track things EPs. Um, anyway, so alien hand syndrome is uh, some sort of, uh, it's a basically a brain condition where one of your hands starts to act of its own accord or appearingly independently from your conscious, I guess. Uh, so we kind of got the idea because I quite wonder, just quite often want to strangle myself to death. Um, so that's really, uh, that's that was my input for the uh, for the name. And uh, Ollie, what were your thoughts <laughs> on it? <laughs> um, I must say it's one of those ones, naming tracks, it's, it's not easy. Um no, you just so, want to go for something that's not going to annoy anyone, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, sometimes there's a couple of tracks we're working on at the moment. One of them had a sample in it which says "Bad News," so I called the song "Bad News." Yeah. Uh, last week we had our releases "Catalyst" and "Choose Your Side." It's kind of obvious when you're working on those kind of tracks. Catalyst, catalyst, catalyst. Mm. I think I'll call this track "Catalyst." Um, but yeah. this this one just kind of fell into place. It was the the, the two tracks were kind of generically. No, no. I think particular. I was just looking up weird brain conditions, were not I? Really? Yeah, and, then, and like, again, it worked into the law as well. That's it. And then we've got the two tracks, so we decided sinistra and dextra, which is uh, yeah. Latin for left and right. So if you're left yeah. hand. So that's right where uh, that's where the word sinister actually comes from. Uh, yeah. Is the Latin word for left, I believe, uh, because if I think if you're ordering a Roman soldier to turn left, it's sinistrosum wurtzi te. If that's wrong, that's the only bit of Latin I know. And that's I'll wrong. You in the street, I'll fuck, I'll shit you, you Latin cunt. If, you, if you're wrong, if you're wrong, you may have just summoned a demon. There's any of you left? There's any of you left? <laughs> if you're wrong, you but may have just summoned demons. For a reason, so. stay dead. Um, that wasn't where I wanted to go with this, but uh, yeah, I think it might be sinister some words he say. So probably not in that accident. Apparently, the Latin accent was like sinister. Sinastra Sanevero Sonon Tanan Seresors. Welcome to the uh, racially questionable show. Uh, let's stop now. Right. Um, at least we're not blackface. I've got such a massive. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's not. Did you see all those Instagram uh, posters that blackface is like. Oh, shit. I totally. Stuff. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. But what was more interesting is I bet it was a very, very small number of them. Probably like four people that actually did that. Do you want to try a new idea. way of mucking up the audio in the podcast? 
Do, do, you, do you want to know what I've done? Hit me. I have, Oliver Barron, on this day, continued to watch our podcast in a tab while we are doing the podcast. So everything up until this point will have a... That's great. I've just muted it. I'm sorry. I, we, I hope we can move past it. Uh, know. You've, you've just turned we into a... We have a new EP. You've just turned into a robot on my end now, so the whole thing's fucked. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, like totally. Um, so... Can you hear me at all? I can, but you're just like... Blah, 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 blah. Oh, that's fine. You can deal with that. Oh, no, it's uh, horrible. So, yeah, Alien Hand Syndrome was a bit of a random oh. pick, but it fit into the lore we were doing. And, uh, and yeah, it gave Ollie better a great chance to make oh, this. I'm just going to keep talking over you now. Oh, something's <laughs> gone wrong. <laughs> I'm trying to do launch cast, Ollie. <laughs> you sound like a robot, man. Am I going to have to ring you on the podcast? <laughs> No, can you can you think? hang on, hang on, I'll get him on the I'll get him on the old school, I'll get him on the blower. No, I can actually hear you, dude. I can hear you totally fine. Oh, right. But it's not totally fine. Oh, it's right. got an horrible sound in it and it's annoying me. Is it the crackle that I deal with like every every three to third Zoom call and you probably. just you can't deal with it? Yeah, probably. All right. right. Anyway, let's chat on let's uh, let's let's not make this entire thing a clusterfuck. Um so yeah, Alien Hand Syndrome, uh, we released this on the twelfth which is today. I've forgotten that somehow. I've forgotten that we released it today. Uh, and it has gone online and people are listening to it. It's got 22 plays. So see, it's, a, it's a little bit of a slow start for us, actually, isn't it? Um, yeah. How would you how would you rate that in the out the gates? Uh, we've, we've got more quicker. But at the same time, I still need to do my Facebook promotion. That's what I was going to say. We... Usually we do all the promotion on a Monday morning and we've left it to a Friday. Yeah. So that and is a difference. Also with... Also, we do the promotion after we've released it. <laughs> yeah. Um, because we release things too quickly and we're disorganised as hell. But the bottom line is, you still guys, you guys still get the music. So that is uh, essentially the main point, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, so this is this is just through... on uh, the SoundCloud. And actually, this morning, all of my posts, I was posting the Spotify link, not the SoundCloud link, because. Yeah. Fuck SoundCloud. I'm down with SoundCloud. We've like called them out a oh, few right. times, and now I'm just We're like waging war. Yeah, fuck them. Um, All right, fine. So this is we still we episode. still we still pay for them for Spotlight, but I don't pay for them on my one anymore. I'm just like, fuck the Spotlight. I ain't having none of it. Thanks for showing us all how how edgy you are. I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm just your, like, with your, with your I don't get anything out of it. SoundCloud account. <laughs> I'm just uh, let's talk about the release, Ollie. Stop showing us your lack of spotlight. Oh, he's he's, he's bugging off. That's it, it, that's it. He's done it. He's, he's thrown all professionalism out the window. Yeah, I've got my dinner. He's uh, he's bugging off. He's got his his, his sausage egg and uh, well, I don't know if you want to talk about the lack of chips. The lack of chips is disturbing, but there we go. <laughs> um, right. As much as you might want to watch it, Ollie eat his dinner, we should talk about these tracks. We'll keep this one nice and short because I've actually just realised that I'm starving. Yeah, man, it's all good. Um, so I need to make some food <coughs> as well. Um, um, so, yeah, uh, why don't you tell them about Sinistro? That was more your game, and then I'll tell them about Dextra. Screen sharing has stopped. Oh, my Lord. Right, share screen. Boom, why boom. can't it stop going wrong? No, we're good, we're good. You don't sound like a robot at all or anything now. Um, oh, right, nice. so here we are in the project, and I learned from last time to turn off Ozone because it just freaks out. So if you've watched any of these before, I'll just have a quick run cap, run, run cap, cap, run cap, but, but, biddy boop, bap. If you have watched any of our other videos about our projects, you might start recognising this. This is our template that we use. So we've got our drums at the top, everything else in that folder. And then the subs, sub or subs. Sometimes we have multiples in the case of this track. I think we've just got the high end. Sub is. Um, so the, everything. That's, just, uh, that's for phones. That's for mobile phones. Kids. Yeah, literally. Just um, now, if you're listening on a on a small speaker, you probably it's got can't. Got to pass the phone test. It's got to pass the wang to speaker test. It's got to pass the good speaker test. You've got to play it out of your mum's head. It's it's all mental. The stuff you have to do. Um, so yeah, you, you're, you, you should hopefully be getting familiar with this. This is our template. This is how we do things. So I'll have a quick look in the drums folder. And uh, I think there's a few. Uh, I think Sorry. this is quite I found out the other night if I do this, I can crack my own back. Oh, yeah, I do like that. <laughs> um, I think this is quite typical of our tracks now. Like if you if you saw the Plague Doctors and the Funkatron walk through. Well, no, just Plague Doctors because we lost the Funkatron. Um, 
you you'll kind of un you'll you'll recognise most of this. So we've got our kick channel, and uh, the kick sounds like a base uh, baseball. I kind of went for that basketball. Sorry, that kind of like hollow kick sound. The snare drum, really snare high. Drum. It's a really high clicky. So basically, the the drums in this. I was listening to uh, Halogenics' new EP, and it had this real nice hollow kick oh, and yeah. bop yeah bop to it so um we got this this real nice and click um and i've actually got the three snares down here i i knew we were going to make this video so i saved them rather than deleting them so this is the snare at the top that we use in the track and that comprises of a couple of guys here so we've got that's like the the, the paper. The Not snap. entirely sure I can hear your computer audio. Maybe you can. Oh yeah, maybe you can't. Everyone else probably can though. Share computer sound. Oh, then I should probably go here. Oh, this might all be wrong. Boom. Asio, to Motu. Oh uh, look, one of your projects has opened. It's shouting at me about the uh, camel crush. I don't talk about the Oxford Inflator anymore. <laughs> nope, that's coming out the wrong speakers. Oh, we're nearly there. I really need to find a 64-bit version of that. I just yeah, don't I like the J-Bridge as a bugger hole. Sonox Oxford outcome. Inflator is, is the boy. All right, there we go. Can you hear that? Yeah. Okay, so we have this, which is like uh, the DMB short. It's the paper snare, the actual like pump. Um, and then we have... Oh, sorry, I'm tired again. That's all right. <laughs> then we got this one, which is just some Foley. And that's kind of emulating the rattle of the rattle, you know, the rattler. Some more under the snare drum. And then on the top of that, we've got straight up click, which is. And that's really nice in the stereo click. Um, so all together, I leveled them a bit of transient shaping and whatnot. There you get our snare um, and the hats again, quite simple in this. This is just a cut up break, I think we got. Most of our order. tops are just like clinks and clanks, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> you know, Bits of foley in here. Like I, I'm a bit more prolific with using like proper hi hats and stuff, but Ollie just like just Anything jangles but. shit around. Like literally, <laughs> screwdriver. It's a hand wound screwdriver in here. It's that bit. <laughs> so I just think it gives a nice groove. What's here? This is a hammer. They're just like plonks. So actually, I had quite a lot of fun with the rhythms for this. So let me. Uh, Move you and I'll solo the whole drum channel and just hear what we got. I was actually having a lot of fun with that. It's really cheesy. It's only the really dark bass that makes it a cool, heavy it's got song. got some nice snares as well. They're like really, really quiet, like break chorus snares. The up snares, like the kick, 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 kick. Yeah, it's just got this nice kind of groove to it. They took our drums! So yeah, there's not really much more to say about the drums. It does that most of the way through. There's a couple of little changes. Some other hats change. It comes in with 16ths over here. Um, and I don't know if you can hear it, but it's the all-important... I just love that that that. Those lovely breaky yeah. yeah vocal breaks are fun man. Like that particularly that sample has been used in so much. Whenever I hear it, I just think of Square Pusher and Aphex Twin and all of that. So I get Venetian snares. Yeah, they Venetian use it a lot. snares. I just had to chuck it in there. It's just like. <laughs> Just reinforcing a bunch of a uh, bunch of rhythms. Can't work out, but I think I'm getting some crackle off your audio. Hopefully yeah, I think so too. Fair. I think it's because I'm using the uh, MMA. Yeah, the not yeah the yeah instead of the 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 direct X, not the ASIO, because it's a bunker of a track. So sorry about the crackle. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. There's a build up. Uh, the intro is a build up. Pardon me. With this, just again, different hats. And I think I might have uh, faded them in or something. But it's all pretty boring, really. 
Oh, I think these ones had some reverb on them. Oh, it's on the channel, isn't it, maybe? No. I don't even remember. Oh, it's the... Yeah. It's the send. It's going to the send. Going to so the, the send. The intro just sends the hats to our uh, return channel one, which is the reverb. So it just washes them out at the beginning so they're not so harsh. And then when it comes in, they're nice and harsh. Boom. We love it. Um, right. So everything else. Let's go in the everything else channel. And I'm going to start with the bass first because I never do. And everyone's always like, bass. We want bass. So um, kind of, I kind of just had some fun with the intro. I was kind of thinking about excision and those big growls and stuff. So I made this. It's just like. A bunch of different nasty things all combined into one. And these are all just from our mud pies, you know. Uh, what's this one? A froze out version. Just reinforcing. Yeah, so you can use them like risers and stuff as well. Yeah, it just helps it mould between. Here's the main guy, which is from my uh, bases that you have. Screecher bass. like the majority of the sound and then this guy up here we got what we got that's literally a roar a roar of a lion or something i got off of a uh, free sound uh, <laughs> sounds like gargling something <laughs> yeah that's it and just mixed in with the other stuff like that fades into the next bit one thing comes into the next it's just a bit of sound design fun at the intro there and then the drop is like super simple i mean it's basically all sub so when you come into the bass here's like the big lie of our projects sub bass we don't even that's not in the bass channel the basses are like a high bass really like yeah. high mids. mids so that's what we got listen to that lovely thing now, unfortunately, it's totally resampled out because I it took me ages to like fuck around with stuff and I can't remember. Unfortunately, it's also to be the case with Dextra. Yeah, but if you want to it... ask us, come to chat.sobs.co.uk. <laughs> um, you can tell that basically I've just done like the the glue compressor sign thing. You can just, you can hear how squashed and squelchy that is. Massive transients on the front. Um, and then the sub backs that up and then nothing 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 for bars and then again and then these down here just tiny little cuts and edits and I, that's all the way it is until the the I don't know the main drop it starts getting a bit more frantic up here <laughs> These just samples. That's my favourite sound in the tune. <laughs> That's the screech, the screech bass from the beginning, from the intro. Um, oh, so yeah, it's always you on these live streams. It's just I'm just don't look after myself. <laughs> uh, so we chat, we chatted about this before, but um, a lot of this stuff just comes to arranging the sounds that you've previously made. Oh yeah. So that is. It's just yeah. It's just cut, cut and paste. That is the base, pretty much for this. We've got some some fun bits down here, some other sections. A little. And I think that bit really rolls when it gets to here because the bass starts going yeah. all over the place. I kind of I thought it was a shame it should do that more, but you just play this drop live, you just loop this drop. <laughs> real nice play around but the whole song really just revolves around this sub bass so this is the sub bass line and i'm going to also play the fizz for anyone on small phones um and it really is just like a rolling rolling bass line A melody. Boo do 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 boo 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 boo. 
and like that's pretty much it sub is our same standard sub as always I've separated out the white noise layer just so that I had more control over the volumes um, and then sound effects there's some like frozen tails and stuff what we've got in here let's have a look it's just one of the bases that I've frozen out some reverb for down here is another soundscape another freeze this is usually just reverbs and effects that I've all frozen out absinthe and stuff like that some ambience and I mean what more what, what well, else what else is there too uh, I suppose the intro and the outro has some nice pads with some nice like a little bit of mute we got a little bit of musical at the end here where are these Ditch in there. More ditch. More ditch. Just need a bit of ditch. Uh, we've got this glitchy mess, I suppose, at the end as well, which is kind of cool. The the. Those are the best two bits. Those are the best two bits. They fit so nicely. Yeah, so that again, it just adds to the groove. It's a lot of uh, I've I've stitched it all together here, but it's just moving Play those separate little cookie. bits. Um, and at the end, it just uh, <laughs> delay, echo. It's a really good one, guys. Just echo and reverb all the time. I use it all the time just to get from section to section. Um, so anyway, yeah, there there are other bits at the end here. There's that little um, that little harp line. Wherever that is, let's have a look. And I just messed around with the um, spray and the feedback on another grain delay and the, the simple delay to move it all around. And then it starts getting a bit crunchy, so that gave me the idea of putting a bit crusher on the master channel. And just I think your audio might be a bit loud. Sorry, my friend. It's a struggle to hear you and your beautiful sonorous voice. Um, I was just saying, it gets really crunchy and crackly, so that gave me the idea of putting a bit crusher on the master channel. Because if anything, everything's going crunchy, you might as well make it go crunchier. Why not? I do this, but just with none of the subtlety that Ollie does it. <laughs> I'll crash the whole track into Actually, a bit I'll crusher. <laughs> um, and then, yeah. A less crushed version that kind of like fades up and then we've got these uh the the big kind of chords and this uh eight cheesy 80s kind of lead line that I, I can't help myself but write like these little lead lines into things and i always sneak them in at the end somewhere Uh, it's literally just me playing like a, a, a solo on my actual keyboard. <laughs> I don't have a MIDI controller. I just use my keyboard, <laughs> put the scale plug in on, and then just fucking. It's fucking great, guys. Just pretend you know what you're doing with the scale plug in. Yeah, and, you, and you'll get tuned. And that literally, to me, I'm a, I'm, not, I'm not the most sophisticated geezer but that sounds like someone playing a keyboard right yeah. and, it, and because it's, it's not quantized because it's not quantized and it is played in you get these really nice kind of it sounds real because it is real it has these and all together in the track it just uh, I think it's nice to Oh, I can hear myself. What's going on? Oh, it's that button. Oh, yeah, there we go. Whew. 
I, was, I could hear myself out of Ableton. Um, yeah, it's just nice in a track that's so dunga, 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 to to kind of get a nice little musical ending. And uh, I did mention earlier I was listening to Halogenic's new EP when I got the inspiration to make this track. And there's one of his songs that does the same thing. It just kind of goes off on this nice little musical ending. And I was like, yeah, we can do that. I want to do that. We should do that. So we did. And uh, and it was good. And it was good. So right, should we uh, let's move on to Dexter? I suppose about... I didn't actually even like actually play the drop. I just assumed that you've heard the song already. Yeah, exactly. You gave so me a little. Let's just out. play the drop quick, and I'm gonna should I play the uh, I'll play the, the the drop I like over here. It's this one. <laughs> If that sounded anything like it did in my headphones, you should probably just go to Spotify or SoundCloud and listen yeah, to it yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because go it sounds Spotify like a crackly piece a of shit pack. right now. I don't even know well, if this let's video. Find out if mine's going to be any better. I don't even know if this video is going to be usable, but yeah, let's do it. <laughs> right, cool. Uh, so stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have to stop, stop it. You can just take over. Ooh. Right. Oh no, <laughs> I've got confused by the fact there were two Ableton projects on. <laughs> right. Hello! This is my track. It's called Dextra. It goes like this. <laughs> uh, I can't see it yet. <laughs> uh, hang on, I've got a. Uh... What? So I'm I screen can... sharing. That says Sinister at the top. I'm still sharing my screen. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Was trying to do this at the same time, Ollie. Perhaps not a good idea. <laughs> I'm just gonna shut up and eat my dinner. Right, can you see my tune now? Yeah. Right, it goes like this. I can't hear it though. Oi, I can't hear it. Oh yeah. Yeah, <laughs> no, I need to do that. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, that um, so obviously where uh, Ollie's track uh, gives you sophistication and uh, technical <laughs> ability uh, mine's like the equivalent of someone hitting you with like a really wet neuro fish. It's just like, get out of blah, blah, blah. Um, So yeah, it starts off with this geezer being like majestic because it's what he said. Um, so, <laughs> so that's why he's in there because that's the vocal sample I happened to find at three in the morning and uh, everything else sounded like he was having like an emotional breakdown. The whole sample pack sounded like he was having a breakdown and then this one was just in a robot voice. <laughs> So I was like, right, yeah, we'll just bang that'll, that in there. That'll do. Um, so yeah, I pitched it down a little bit. Uh, but yeah, essentially, I'm going to struggle to show you too much in this because um, I don't want to. Uh, no, because I have uh, resampled and bounced a lot down to audio. But if we have a look, uh, the kick is basically it's just like an aggressive neuro kick. Uh, so if we have a quick look here, it's just like. So it's got like a little bit of scoop, a lot of top click. Uh, that'll pass the phone test, that kind of click. Um, so yeah, he's just going away there. Uh, I don't he's think just going phone. away there. <laughs> he's just going away. He's having he's a going piece. away. Yeah, come on, get a fucking noise. Um, so I've got an EQ and an auto filter on that um, because you don't want too many frequencies clashing with each other. It's simple stuff. You've got the old auto um, filter on it. So yeah. Is it the old one? That's from that's from nine, yeah. How have I done that? <laughs> it's because you dragged. How it. do I do these? You drag things from, from old where? projects. Not. I haven't got a Scooby, mate. <laughs> I don't know. I'll ask the things I do. Right. So the kick snare is <laughs> like this, and then the snare is like this. That's probably more than one, actually. <laughs> so you got. Two snares, they're, they're doing very different jobs. You've got one that's almost just a clappy kind of... 
Yeah. They're really high. It's probably uh, also knowing me, one will be another version of the other. I'm ludicrously lazy to press control D is too much of a <laughs> it's too much of a temptation. So this will be a higher EQ'd, uh, probably transposed in the audio clip setting. So you know if you go to your if you take a clip and then you go down here and then you um you just you muck about this you can change the pitch of your clip also uh just while i'm here because i've been exploring this more and more lots of automation that you can do uh within the actual clip itself which is quite nice if you don't want to interfering with other stuff and you kind of messing up the leveling of your other bits tracks and stuff it's nice it's probably quite put simple something... but i learn i learn in a weird order so i'll learn like one thing this does and then i just won't look at it again for like years <laughs> and then like eventually ollie will be like you know this is like multifunctional basically I'm, I'm 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 bad i'm just like i should be better than i am that's but fine. I make the tunes now, and you listen to them. So what are you gonna do? Uh, right. So yeah, we've got really nice high snare there with a little bit of like, so just like some high fast reverb. Um, it's probably the oil barrel actually that we use. Uh, just to give it a bit of presence. That's kind of emulating the rattle under the snare that Ollie was showing you before. And then I've got another snare for this last section. Uh, over here and all three of them together in the last section just give it that extra so what you're trying to do especially in tracks that are really really loud is you want your snare kind of poking through at three different sections on the frequency spectrum just to make sure that it's it it's sounds there. full but it's not muddy if you had it all flat it'd be muddy so you want a pokey 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 uh, and that's how uh, that's how sound works and then, uh, yeah, I've just got some fills. Uh, these are really, uh, fills are great for adding tension, uh, especially if you take, I find if you take slow fills and ram them into your high tempo track, they sound cooler than actual high. I don't know if it's just for the, uh, the type of sound that we're doing. So if I show you this, it's just a little, uh, just a little better, better. Uh, it sounds like some 80s trigger drums or something. Uh, and these uh, allow the drums to come in and just give it, if you hear at the end of this bar, they just give it a little bit more presence. And it just it, it allows the track to keep rolling. It you'll find when you're early on in sequencing, you'll just try and put bit by bit by bit by bit, and you'll notice that you're trying a lot harder to make the drops work than you have to. <laughs> so just bang some delay over it, get drum roll in there, just drag in any drum roll, and just it'll snap to your fucking song tempo if you've got walk on, and just chop, chop it up a little bit. Don't be afraid to be a bit like just meat and potatoes with it because you can always refine it at a later well, literally, Ableton the, gives you the the project that I was working on today the 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 top secret project um I was the amount of times I was like oh fuck no uh, stop overthinking yeah. it <laughs> stop overthinking it no yeah Ableton gives you the flexibility it's the first door uh I found and I think this is why I love it so much that you can just kind of diarrhea onto it and then you can fix it all later because it's so versatile with what you can go back and forth with and mm -hmm. stuff like yeah it's 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 it's, it's, it's a cool piece of kit i love you ableton I, I, we love you ableton <laughs> um so anyway uh that's essentially the drums so the drums go like this most of the time <laughs> uh let's go here it's the old drop. dunga dunga isn't it drop a legit uh, final slam nut is my uh, is my favourite of the uh, locators for this. Track. I do like the fact that I've got you using locators, and now they're just as great yeah, as mine. Yeah, well, the problem is you just don't know what you're fucking doing with that, do you? So, uh, so yeah, play the drums on the drop, and they sound a lack of ears. So it's just nice and simple, actually, and it's funny because the track is so heavy, but the drums aren't doing anything more than your standard e liquid tune, really. You can have that. I mean, this bit's obviously a bit of a difference because he's lost his fucking shit. And <laughs> it sounds like a decent drummer, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. Um, and if you listen to that, yes, yes bit, this is quite a nice bit. So when you pull it, if you do a really like um ka um ka, it's nice to pull it away in the second bit of the uh, the eight bar or the sixteen bar section and have it just go a bit mental. So you end up with uh, this. Oh, but no, that's not the right bit. 
because this locate is still called needs variation <laughs> so hopefully we varied that let's find out if we did sorry i haven't done that oh this is the mad section yeah so that's fun so let's look at the drums for this bit so this is utilizing both the uh, the standard time grid and the triplet grid so you see if you're going down here do that just split your grid differently and it allows you to get these uh pendulum music a lot in the hi-hats to get this uh it kind of forces a swing on you, doesn't it? Yeah, it forces. Well, no, what it is is it's almost like Quick. an enforced slowdown without yeah. slowing the beat. Um, it is actually so one. This... Talking about metal, though, it's one that metal drummers use a lot. There you go. So that's another metal technique. A They'll use it on their toms. Like... Well, well, yeah, especially triple when the game's going mental triple. and it's getting to that like. <laughs> kind of. Well, um, it's one of the things I remember true. when I working with a few metal drummers that's going to 16th is just yeah. too fucking fast like going yeah. it's like no it and then going, eighth, good, 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 good. yeah whereas the triplet feel gives you the speed without being too much and then it gets oh, yeah, you that that falling over your you, you know falling down the stairs yeah. kind of thing just really nice and it gives it this lovely uh like lovely like almost controlled chaos feel mm. so then you've got to build up again and then the uh yeah let's have a quick click down at uh bass central yeah loads of bass in this track Hardly any bass in yeah. uh, Sinistra, but loads of bass in this. Yeah, loads of bass, and I've uh, resampled it all to death. So, uh, I mean, even this is... Uh, what if I unfreeze this? What would happen? You get things back? No, you can sort of. <laughs> uh, right. So I've uh, sampled everything out, but let's have a quick look at all of the bass. <laughs> so I believe this is all still bass. I think the serum drop still from there. Right. So if we uh, go up here and we find our bass channel... And I'll just play a little bit from what start. Now this was uh, this was another one from a mud pie. Uh, so you've got. Sorry guys. Right. base four. So we have this man here who does this. So a lot of the time when I'm resampling a neuro bass, it really is just up it an octave as a sort of like nice crisp distortion to it and then just re-level it into the sound we were and talking even sometimes resample and back out together we were talking on the uh ableton group uh, someone said about layering their bases and i said about the velvety layer that's the velvet layer mm. you need that high yeah. end you need that high yeah. end silk or that it's high end for the phone velvet. Test, that one actually most of yeah. this podcast uh still live stream is going to be telling you how to make tunes pop out your phone <laughs> you got to remember, you, you can spend millions on a fucking... Look up Culprit as well, he's good for that. Yeah, you can listen to a million fucking... Um, so you can spend a million pounds on good equipment. At the end of the day, people are going to yeah. listen to them on their phones or on their... Yeah, not everyone else know. has a million pounds. Exactly. And that's one of the crushing problems in our society. Yeah, you know, you can have... You've got reference through loads of different speakers. You can have, yeah, you can have Adams, you can have your KRKs, you can have, you know, whatever you... Mm. But at the end of the um, day, someone's going to listen to it on a phone and say, oh, it's not so. very sick. Someone, someone will listen to your track on a phone and be like, nah, mate, the bass don't slam. And it's like, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, I've heard it all the time. It's just being like, you can't hear anything. It's just a drum beat. And like, that's on tracks that people release as well. So it's, it's like you need to put an onto these things, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and then I've got this boy, which is providing, I believe, some uh, muscular, muscular tension. So he's nice. And then these two boys together are just sort of... 
So it's funny, isn't it? Because when you play it all together, it sounds huge. That's, when you got them together, it sounds like a really good scoop guitar. But like, nothing, nothing's that mental. This is another like, good thing, though, in, in a good mix. Separately, this is just like, it's just nice and light. And then you've just got the song down here. It's not like distorted or anything. I think a lot of people, when they start out, I think a lot of people, when they start out, they think when they're making heavy music, it's like you really need everything like super loud and stuff. But it's really tiny little delicate touches that actually give the full sound. It's like, let's imagine uh, like, it's almost like rather than blowing someone's head off with a shotgun, you like kill them with the death of a thousand cuts from like Japanese feudalism <laughs> or whatever. Uh, that's essentially what it is. Um, <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> I prefer not. Uh, I can't really. I don't, my brain's not been great <laughs> uh, for this bit. I've got loads more boys lined up, so all these boys are over here and they're just lurking, looking at you. Um, so. We go down here. This is essentially, this will all be the same sound. So this sound uh, began its life in Serum. And all it was was taking, I think it was one of the trilobite waves and uh, using, uh, I think it was a, maybe a soft reese or something to frequency modulate. Uh, doing that bend trick with the plus and minus as well. Mm -hmm. And then just writing in a waveform. Uh, and then everything else from that point on was resampling. So the, the first sound was sort of a kill the noisy style. Kind mm -hmm. of, it was much more it was more growly than like hissy, hissy and stuff. Yeah. So it took a lot of resampling to sort of get the uh, the high end that I wanted. But now these boys do this here. So they're just they're just helping out. So you get a bit just to give a bit of differentiation between the it gives first it a bit more spatial is, spatial movement which the first section subtly is a little cleaner <laughs> just a little sus hmm. um and then uh yeah so uh this is another oh yeah no we changed this bit didn't we yeah so this is uh this is always good i'm trying to do it more and more uh although with the rollers it's kind of uh kind of counterproductive because you want to move away from too too much dynamic range in a roller because mm -hmm. it knocks with a roller um whereas basically if you want to make a roller make it like a techno track with all your progressions and additions and stuff um whereas if you want to make like neuro and stuff make it it's, it's like the, the editing and stuff you'd be closer to doing hip-hop cuts and stuff yeah this one the 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 feels and the vibe on Dextra are totally all over the gaff. It's really all nice, kind of yeah, like yeah. it's it's it flows, but it throws. <laughs> yeah, I wanted the whole thing to feel like it was just on the verge of like all breaking and falling. Um, so yeah, uh, when we have the this bit. So yeah, I mean we both used to listen to a lot of dubstep, so we like a decent one, and then uh, it's got a nice like shuffly kind of beat over it. So if you listen to the drums come off, so it's just got that scatty shuffle swing. So that's all hip hop from that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, uh, that's just don't be afraid to use cross genres. Like if you if you put a hip hop beat behind your DMB synth, it's not going to suddenly sound like a hip hop song. It sounds like you're doing some sort of cross genre stuff. Um, so uh, yeah, then the boundaries, once, man. once you get to a point, it's really nice. Uh, I would avoid. Uh, I made this mistake trying to do cross genre stuff too early on can be frustrating for you. Mm. Um, so and this isn't true like cross genre stuff. But I just happen to have done a tune that is super cross genre. And when I was trying to do it earlier, uh, I suppose in my career, earlier um, in my career, I find it super frustrating because you just you don't have. It's not necessarily the knowledge you don't have the attuned ear to work out how to make the compromises between the genres, and you can. It yeah. takes a while to work out how to get like a compromising mix between things that clash, and it's only something I found I can do in the last couple of days. And I've been doing this years. Um, <laughs> Yeah, sometimes it's just a project helps you kind of get over something and be like, yeah, oh, I've that's doing, how we I've, do I've, it. I've, I've still been, I'm learning more now, even though we're doing this than I was beforehand. I'm learning, I have, I'm having to learn at a faster rate. 
yeah. than I was before we got to this level. So it's not like you start releasing a couple of tunes. I mean, it's not like I'm massively successful. Maybe one day. Um, you know, it's, I think you've got to, like, you have to finish tunes. You have to release tunes. You have to yeah, do the whole process to know. Got to remain teachable. Anyway, I don't want to blather too uh, too long on this because I'm starving. My stomach's chewing on itself, man. Oh, dude, sorry. Uh, right, so yeah, these were basically all one uh, base that I took out of um, out of Serum, and yeah, it was just using. I think it was, it was really well, it was the Trilobite Wave, and uh, yeah, I think the Soft Breeze, but that could be wrong. And you're just mucking about with the frequency modulation, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's FF instances. There's probably notch filters in there as well and stuff, just uh, adding movement. I might have from you, do you use a tiny bit in your SI compression? I can't really remember. Um, so yeah, uh, it's, it's literally just a case of chucking shit well, off. <laughs> There is a wealth of neuro tutorials on YouTube at the moment. So it's like one of those genres that's really well covered at the moment. And the tutorials are usually quite comprehensive. And the tutorials for neuro in particular really help you understand the software. Yeah, I'd say the one thing... You're essentially breaking it and you can't work something out better than breaking it. Trust me. Yeah. <laughs> that's a stonks guarantee. <laughs> yeah, I think the one um, thing that's important yeah. when you're learning any neuro techniques is just mud pie... Whenever you make a song, yeah. whenever you make any new synth or anything, just fucking make as much crap with it that you can. Mm -hmm. Sample out as many sounds, twist all those knobs, and just get it sampled out so that you have those knobs. you have audio that you can pull in. It's always it's just the end of the day. Yeah. You want to be able to pull in great sounding samples, and the best way to do that uh, is to make them. Yeah. So essentially, for these bases, you go. Your project's going to end up looking like this. This might even just be another base group in the middle of it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so here's here's all the bases. I could run you through what all of them sound like, but they're all very, very, very similar but slightly different. So when you just listen to the whole bass channel, uh, it just yeah, it gives you this in the end. And even with all of those in now, it's still not a sound. It's nothing. Uh, right. Anyway. Uh, quick chat about what I've done with the pads because it's usually not fucking much. Oh yeah, there you go. Some more bass down there. <laughs> what are these doing? This is what I mean. These are the lengths I'm going to. What are these doing? Just more of it. More of it. Then you have to go through me EQ them all and you really start to regret your decisions. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then this boy over here, there's still a MIDI, which is quite uncommon for me, so I'd like to see what he is. Oh yeah, 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 this is just the, the horrible the movie so I made at the end. Yeah. If I unfreeze this, you can see some stuff. Okay, so this is... Hello. Let's see, I can prove to people I do real sound design. Right, so if you look at this, Wave 1 is a synth I made for, a, uh, for the charity track I'm doing for my friend who sadly passed. Uh, it lives in Serum uh, to open... Why is my brain hurting so much? Hang on. Right. So, yeah, I wasn't lying. Just try to buy it. Wait. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and then you are uh, just fucking, yeah, there you go. You are frequency modulating one with other, and uh, there's probably a bit of detuning as well. Uh, so, W, Reese 1 is the patch, and then Wave 1 is the audio effects rack. Uh, just nice, really simple into the LFOs, and then a little bit of mapping probably around the filters, and yeah, jobs are good, essentially. So uh, this on its own. So you can see it modulating that one there. I like the little trial about waves as well. They've got really cool, like, it saves you, basically just saves you doing this yourself. These are the waves we'd be going yeah. for anyway, and they're just there. Got loads uh, of movement. So thanks, uh, thanks, Serum. You're, uh, you're the dogs. I do like Serum as a synth. Yeah, uh, I don't nice. like people giving it a bad rep as a bit of a gimmicky thing because it is really powerful. Uh, I like the effects in it as well. I like the way you can set up the effects right like this. It's yeah, that's nice. nice. And you can do that uh, with the LFO so and stuff. And then after that, you've got point, what? You've got OTT, you've got reverbs, you've got EQs, you've got... Yeah, yeah, so this is all so going on. I've probably, I've got a plethora of, yeah, it's been eons long. Uh, I might have even doubled up the audio effect rack. Uh, so you've got reverb, and then you've got uh, just rolling off some high-end because I'm going to be... There's the, one of the Neuro Notch filters, so that'll be automated around. Uh, it's an OSR filter as well, so I've managed to put a bit of drive on it. That drive on that OSR is really nice for just heating up the bass a little bit, a little actually. Bit. It's, it's kind of a cheap thing from Ableton. Um, so, yeah, that's, a, that's super cool. Uh, my favourite game, uh, which is the Isotope Crash. Uh, what ridiculous preset shall I pick today? Uh, I usually go over to, like, Experimental or something. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. 
Uh, chip tooth. Yeah, it's just fucking. It's all that jazz. And uh, then a and screamer because here. it wasn't enough. You needed more. Yeah, there wasn't enough distortion on it, so I had to put screamer on it afterwards. Uh, with a uh, a wet dry chain as well because I just I my I abused my computer enough at this point. I might as well <laughs> do a bit more. Uh, yeah, so these are what my that's what my EQs look like. So if anyone ever like shows you a weirdly shaped EQ and it's like. Oh, I can't believe anyone would ever EQ like that. It's like mate neuro, you suck. <laughs> like, look at that. What's that? That's horrible. You should never do that to a sound. <laughs> but then sometimes you should. Sometimes it's just what the doctor ordered. Yeah. Fuck it. Um. So that is uh, that's making this boy all on his own. And uh, I'll just show you the lead into. Uh... So this is the lead in. This is break two. So this is just into our B section. of really really like clever stuff with that noise and when it came on i was like no just bang it on the top it's fine yeah it sounds hilarious it's um, totally fine <laughs> so this is uh i'll go down to the arps if i can find them <laughs> there's the metallic arps so these are adding uh, noise to you like a metallic metallic arp effect and stuff and all that rhythmic stuff so these are uh, just adding ah oh, it doesn't play for ages does it there you go <laughs> Dabbing goes up and out. It does it. It gives it a really nice, like, rhythmic gallop, and then you stop, and then you rhythmic gallop, and you stop. It's like a horse that you give a far, far too much tranquilizer, and it's just trying to get out of the gate, but it can't comprehend what the gate is. <laughs> um. Anyway, uh, yeah. So we got that. There's a bit of velocity over here. Just adding some. Uh, The weirdest things that you put in the middle of big sounds just to i don't even know what that would be doing but it's just i can it hear it now synth will have been yeah, yeah i've gone through and the synth will be lacking at like a millisecond somewhere so i'll have put that in as like a leader instrument mm. he likes doing this as well um so if your synth's not behaving properly you can sort of with a side chain as well and a decent like square wave or something you can almost just bring it back it. together. Just tame it in, yeah. Yeah, you can just just dip up, dip up. Um, I do. So I use foley sometimes too. for it, but it's just something to help. Yeah, because you don't want everything foley perfectly from... in time. You could warp the audio yeah. to make it dead in time, but it's yeah. nice to try and keep you that. You got a rare bit of foley from me if I can actually make it make some sound. So. Oh, I can't be you now. Yeah, there we go. We just got. <laughs> I think that was literally just me rustling against the microphone and I just ended up granular. Like, it's just me moving my mic and then just granular time signatures, synthesis, uh, granular time stretching, a bit of reverb, a bit of delay, and you just get all these like foley effects. I think that might have been it. Yeah, get that kind of ring. Yeah, I can't really remember making it. It sounds like I do that a lot. I'll just use like mistake audio. Yeah, just drag it. The box down here. Uh, I thought there'd be plugins on that. Sorry, guys. Oh, there's someone here. So you've got you did this, didn't you? Yeah. So this is uh, splitting up different delays and echoes to give it like a different sound. Obviously. <laughs> I just wanted uh, certain syllables to be apologize. picked up by certain delays. So yeah. But yeah, so we got then we got these oh, little vocals down here that just. Uh, there's in. there's one I recorded that dream. <laughs> That green one underneath, I recorded, and you kept it in. You never mentioned it. Check out. Watch it, trickle. <laughs> I've never heard that. <laughs> <laughs> Watch it, trickle. Why isn't that more? Watch it, oh my god, I can hear it. So clear. I know. I know. <laughs> You never mentioned it. That's fantastic. 
Uh, yeah, only likes to play like subliminal tricks with me and Gene. I just um, you you did the, all the other vocal thing, and I was trying to figure out what it said, yeah. and it was like it sounds like "Watch It Treacle" to me. So I just thought, <laughs> "Watch It Treacle." <laughs> And then, uh, so then that, at the end, then at the end, you put in the oh fucking hell, here we go, and that's oh, yeah, what made so it. I, all... I love a, I love a sample. I love a sample. I think you can make or break a track. So uh, I pop this in. Fucking hell, here we go. Uh, obviously, it's just a bit of fun. Fucking hell, here we go. Like Danny, uh, Diet, yeah, and also. <laughs> But to be honest, it's a bit of fun, but also the song is, like, relentless. So, you like, <laughs> another eight bars of it, you were like, when I had to make it, I was just like, oh, for fuck's sake, man. Like, Fucking I was hell, like, here we go. I was like, I listened to it all day, and it was just like, and I knew that I had to make the last bit, like, even heavier and put, like, loads of double bass pedals. And I was just sitting there, and I was just getting fucking ridiculous. Ask Golly, I'll start making a track, and about halfway through it, I'll be like, this is the dumbest shit I've ever made. And I'll play it to you. And the dumber the shit, the more he's like, yeah, we should do it. Yeah, that's the best. <laughs> so I don't know what that tells you about the creative process, but it definitely makes me happy. Uh, yeah, I mean, half the time, the, similar. the stuff I want to delete is the stuff you like, so it's great working yeah, together. <laughs> um, and the outro is kind of similar, it's just a bit of a similar to Sinister, it's got some nice lead out arcs. I mean, and, it uh, works yeah, for DJing, like, like, you know. The Gives second techie to... time's nice, this bit's probably my favourite section. <laughs> So yeah, essentially, if you want to make a song like this, uh, parallel compress the fuck out your drums so they're so crunchy <laughs> that you can barely uh, exist, uh, and then they'll just sit across the mix, whatever horrible mistakes you make. Oh, there's still probably mistakes in this track. Like, yeah, 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 no doubt. Um, but like, yeah, just uh, yeah. So I like to give people a little bit of a recap of how they might do this. Main points I would focus on uh, is resampling and adding different octaves and different levels of distortion to different octaves to pad out your sound. Yeah, split it uh, as much as you can. Parallel compressing drums, as I said, uh, get some nice. If you've got a really big, you always want contrast in your songs. So if you've got a big washy washy. You want somewhere in it a little clinky clinky. Um, <laughs> that seems to be a good rule of thumb. Yeah, I like, take that. So, and anything you do, you want to be quietly also doing the opposite. Yeah, just slowly <laughs> pulling, yeah. pulling the rug out. I think that's people. the reason. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so yeah, don't be afraid to get in the Discord chat. Stonks.co.uk and ask because uh, I can literally take you into the actual other. I've got other iterations of this. Yeah, we we share make it together. We share ADGs yeah, and stuff. Yeah, we make so. it together. I mean, I'm getting more and more used to making this stuff, and I love doing it with people. Um, also, another trick for this, obviously, with Neuro, try vocal synths on the bass. They don't always work, um, but if you can get hold of a vocal synth, or even if you're just doing O-box something with or an manipulator. Or yeah, but yeah, but the vocoder in Ableton is not useless if you mix it with a couple of things. Um, yeah. Just to get some more vowel sounds. Uh, uh, we've got a good video actually on our YouTube if you want some vowel sounds. Fun with filters. Yeah, yeah we've got a good video um, and uh, we've got plenty of videos on loads of different stuff now actually. So just go and have a look. Yeah, I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to list it to you. Go on a voyage of discovery. What's the uh, Ollie? What's the uh, what's the link for what YouTube? Yeah, is it watch? No, it's YouTube. Dot it YouTube. 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 Dot YouTube. Stonks. Stonks. Or it might be Watch as well. I've just made fucking hundreds. I don't of think it is. I think I just said I wanted it to be. <coughs> oh, I can make YouTube. it. YouTube.stonks.co.uk or just yeah. search Stonks Music on YouTube. Go and have a... What we want you to do, have a dig around in the videos, get some of your questions answered, get more questions, come to the Discord, ask us more, we help you out a little bit more. And then maybe when we sell albums, we play them on Spotify. That's yeah. all we want, really. Like, <laughs> yeah. Or like a streaming service. Give us some streams. Make sure I don't have to go back to a day job. It will fucking kill me. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, ask him. Ask yeah. him. Ask him. I the can't do it. Really I can't society. The last I, really I am a twenty-nine-year-old. I'm already a near like death experience recovering alcoholic, and I just spent two years. And it could have been any office, I think. And just no, I'm. I'm. I, I want to make music for you guys, but no, <laughs> not that level. 
<laughs> of interaction. I can't. I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm. 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 Uh, what I'm doing is I'm trying to find a form where I can still benefit humanity. Mm. And trust me, that's not. That's not in an office. <laughs> nah, man. That's not what you want. So, uh, yeah. Plus, no, uh, I mean, it's all, it's all. It's all a bit ping pong. So yeah, uh, from uh, humble beginnings of just some random vocal sample. If you want to use a, a, a sound in part B, just play it once in part A, just to give people a taste, a little, yeah. a <laughs> a little, little tag, little uh, taster. Yeah, you must definitely. give them a little morsel. Basically, people are still the animals, and they want they want all the, like the little bites. <laughs> yeah, a lot and... of pop pop will do it with the little tags of the chorus yeah. and stuff like that. It's a good arrangement. Um, so yeah, uh, be kind. Don't worry. Don't make. So don't try and make your big sounds too big. Construct them out of loads of different sounds. Loads of little sounds. To the end, resample it all together. Are you my rat backer now? Are you yeah. just going to be like loads of little sounds? <laughs> Blood. <laughs> With the compressor on. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I finally got a hype, man. Hi. So, yeah, this is my track. Uh, I'll just play a tiny bit of it just so you remember. So uh, you remember. <laughs> So, yeah, that's extra. Uh, if you've got any other questions, come ask me in the Discord. Yeah, listen uh, to I'm it on YouTube, happy. listen to it on Spotify. No, 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 sorry, that was bollocks. I'm always happy to help. I'm not always happy. I'm rarely, <laughs> rarely even okay. I'm rarely happy, but always happy to help. Yeah, but that, this yeah. this was the relaunch, This was the launch of uh, Sinistra. No, it wasn't. Oh, yeah. Alien yeah. Hand Syndrome. No, it's the launch of yeah. Alien, Alien, Alien Hand Syndrome. Syndrome. Uh, comes out, out today. Out on all streaming platforms now. It it's out on Spotify, Deezer, it's out on repeat. Geezer, it's out on Spotify, hey, it's out on iTunes. Ones, the lights will go off, they will go off, the computer will turn off. Look, my I lights have already gone leave. off. Look, will, look. Have you see what happens to the well, geezers in Indiana Jones? Look, someone, what look that's what happens if you stream. If you stream, look, someone must have listened to the album because my lights just came on. Thank oh you. Oh my God, it's like, honestly, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Turned into a pretty decent picture. I like the way I like the way you went with the lights. Are we yeah. still streaming? Yeah, we're still going. Um, we should probably <laughs> right, tie anyway, up. Yeah, um, and you need to. No, eat no, that's fine. Yeah, I'm completely aware we're still streaming. Um, so it's been lovely to have you guys again. Um, I hope you like the format of uh, rough and fucked. Uh, which, it, that sounds way more sexually aggressive than I meant it to. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, yeah, so that's my song, Dextra. Ollie's song, Sinistra. Although kind of we've kind of melded on this one a lot more. Yeah, we both uh, worked on both of them. They are all but... streaming platforms, uh, Spotify, Deezer, if you like hi-fi music. Uh, you can listen to it. I'll just, like, if you ring me up and you say uh, the r- correct three words that I won't tell you, I will just scream the whole song down the phone to you. Even like even to the point if I'm like throwing up and my throat is bleeding and like people are like trying to stop me, I will do it. I will do it until the end. Goodbye. <laughs> nice one everyone it's uh i won't i literally won't do that i've nearly died loads of times it's a terrifying prospect you can fuck off <laughs> um it's friday this is so gonna be quite a personal a personal launch cost <laughs> it's friday so we'll catch you all in two it's days friday. enjoy your weekends yeah listen weekend. to alien hand syndrome all weekend and if your hand starts giving you the old <laughs> then it's working yeah man uh, uh, or yeah, you've had a stroke everyone. and you need to call the hospital. Hopefully um, not. It's so just alien hand syndrome. Hopefully it's the yeah. If if you if that happens and the track's not on, call an ambulance. Yeah. Because uh, that's quite serious. I don't Very want serious. No, I don't, yeah, it's been a horrible time. Yeah. Goodbye. All right, nice one, everyone. <laughs> Catch you all later. You're just gonna let me end it like this. Yes. <laughs> I've decided I'm gonna end our sort of end our launch party on a somber note, no matter what. We've been ending it for like 10 minutes, like always. I'm just going to fucking cut bet, you eventually. I bet nobody is still listening. <laughs> this is where we put the sponsors in. Anyway, oh, should I start running ads? I can run an ad. Yeah, run an ad. <laughs> Fuck it. Let's just sell out. I don't have a job anymore. I'm terrified. Let me see if I can... Are we still streaming? Yeah, we're still streaming. Let me run an ad. <laughs> streaming at How do I put... Right, ad? play us out, Johnny. Hold on. I'm, I might be able to... If I press run ad, that might actually work. It successfully started ad. Apparently, it might <laughs> so is that how it ends? Just us stumbling into a nat. I don't know. We might come back in a minute. I probably should have put a timer. It was thirty seconds. 
I have no idea what's going on, but I need to start making dinner. <laughs> I don't know if 30 seconds has come or gone. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if we're back or not. Shall I just end it? Oh. If you are still here, and if we are still here, <laughs> this has been Launchcast episode. We don't even give a fuck. See you later. We'll keep making tunes that are better than this shit. We will make music. Kind of fun. Our music will get better. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Well, the political in. situation still grants me some <coughs> level of freedom due to my crushing, crushing amounts of privilege in this country. I will continue to broadcast freely. Yes, until um, then. If I am ever, ever, ever even treated like like some of the most uh, vulnerable people or minorities, then obviously I won't be able to uh, to do stuff like this in the cold future that we face. Who fucking Goodbye. knows, mate? For now, we can do it, so let's do it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, right, fucking...